Hello everyone and welcome to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to be checking out the KC-390 and we're going to be loading up some tanks and transporting it from the military base all the way down to Harrison Air Base. Now it's going to be pretty interesting loading tanks on a plane. This is going to be something really quite fun. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Now this plane looks absolutely gorgeous, really beautiful. Absolutely, really, really nice. Uh, let's get inside and let's see if we can set up the ramp for loading. So we're going to jump in here and it looks like we have a cargo master seat. Very nice. We've got a little camera there we can see. So we've got a bay door open. Okay, so the doors have now gone open. You can see that on there. And we should be able to, in theory, just drive them up in here. It should be relatively quite easy. We've got even a little clock there. Very nice little lavatories in here got some doors to get in and out very nice okay let's get inside these tanks now these are the stooks they're really cool and they're so small so small let's get inside here so we've got radio electric brake headlights let's get our engines on there we go and let's move forwards well, that's awesome okay so can we gear up Cool. and then let's try and angle it and let's see if we can load these in now I'm gonna try and tie them down using the rope points because you can see there's some rope points in the front and the back of the uh, tank so we should be able to hopefully tie them down inside this plane and let's see how easy it is to get this up the ramp here oh yeah so so easy okay let's go back into first person and let's drive it forwards here yeah, I think that's about good Let's get the brakes on uh, and jump out and then let's see if we can tie this down. So we've got a tie down point there and we've got a point here. So see if I can grab that and then click there and click here hopefully. There we go. So that's tied down. We've got some more rope underneath the seat so we can hopefully get to this side. Take that, take that, tie that down. Let's grab another rope. And we're going to go from here to, is there any more rope points? They are over here. Okay, so let's use this one. And then we'll do the last one, which is over there. Cool. So that's not tied on. Uh, let's see if we can get some more. In. So we're going to get these tanks. So let's jump on the back. And in we go. Engine's on. Let's drive forwards. I love the little radiator on the side there. If I'm correct, the creator's using modular engines. Uh, for this tank, which is really cool that they're using that. This plane, man, looks awesome. You can see how many flares there are also. Quite a few. Let's go and rotate this around. Looks like we've got some fuel pylons on either side too. Yeah, let's go and rotate this. I might be off by a few centimeters, but I think we'll be fine. There we go. Okay, let's go forwards. First person again. And let's just bring this up. Don't want to go too far forward. Okay, that looks good. Engine off, brakes on, jump out. Let's go and grab some more rope. So rope there, let's see if we can go to the front of the vehicle. Uh, and come on, attach. There we go. And let's get it attached to there. And let's get another piece of rope. And let's do the opposite side. So I can see it. There we go. And there we go. Cool. So we got that attached. Oh, we should probably do the back, shouldn't we? Let's attach that to that. And let's grab that and attach that to that. Okay, cool. So we should have space for one more tank, hopefully. You can see the pylons there. Nice. Uh, let's go and grab this tank and let's see if we can fit this in. And then we can close it up and get that plane started and do our taxi on the runway. Cool. So let's go and turn this here. Ooh, we're going to turn that around, speed up a little bit, and then we'll turn it around again and see if we can get this loaded in. We need to get this one tied down. We don't want any of these tanks going anywhere while we're flying. That's just going to cause big damage. So let's get that inside. And rotate that up. Cool. First person. Nice. Okay, let's get that on, brakes on, jump out, and let's get this connected. So, some more rope here, yes. 
get that connected to there. See if we can get some more rope somewhere. There we go. And we'll get that connected to that. Okay, and then we just got the back ones. And there is some rope here, but we need one more piece of rope. So there we go. Plenty of rope on this creation, which is great. Get that connected there and get that connected to there. Cool. So that is all the tanks up and loaded now. So we should be able to jump in here and hopefully close this. We can still see slightly on there and we can go and close that. Perfect. Very easy. Nice. I like that. Um, cool. Let's go and close that ramp and let's get some lights on and we're going to go up into the cockpit. And let's see what we've got. So we've got pilot seat. Perfect. And we've got some beautiful laid out controls here. That will get set up. So let's get everything on. So we're going to main battery on. We'll get left fuel pump, right fuel pump, APU battery. We don't really need it, but why? Well, I guess you can get APU battery off. Uh, APU we don't need. Left engine, right engine, navigation and formation lights. Perfect. Uh, APU fuel pump, no. Backlight, sure. Heaters in the cargo bay, no. Cockpit heater, no. Gallery lights, no. Taxi lights, yes. And then cargo bay light, no. Cock oh, I guess we can get that on. Cockpit light, yes. Green light, no, no. Front light, no. Refuel port, no. Cool, so everything is up and running now. We got some the refuel pipe, which is really cool there. You can do some air-to-air -air refueling with this plane. Oh man, that's really cool. Uh, looks like we've got some pitch and roll stabilizers. We'll get those on. We've got an autopilot system, so we'll get that set up also. Uh, so you can see we are going down here to Harrison. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to set up a waypoint uh, about there and then get another one in for about there. And you can see we're loading these waypoints in and then possibly another one for there. And then the last one maybe for about there. So we'll get those waypoints in. Uh, today we're flying at, let's do, what, 750 plus minus? Yeah, 750. Heading we're not going to be using today, roll angle we don't need, uh, throttle lever we'll do just now, flares on we can use later, uh, drop point no, gears we'll get on later, so we're pretty much good to go, we can obviously get our brakes off in a few seconds, uh, we can also get the flaps down if we want to, so let's see what the flaps are, okay so let's get the flaps down for takeoff, cool, and let's move forwards, so throttle up, brakes off, and we'll just hopefully taxi out. So, roll up is one. Make sure we can turn. Yep, you can see the landing gear turning there. Let's throttle up a little bit more. Don't want to throttle too much. We're going to start doing a little bit of a turn to the right here. Perfect. Very smooth so far. Experience has been great. Okay, we're going to follow along the little taxi line here. Probably throttle down here a bit. Going a little bit too quick. And we'll follow that line, then we'll come off of the taxi onto the runway. Uh, we'll build up some RPS and then we'll hopefully take off. Let's go back up inside here. So we're going to come in here. Let's go and possibly start our turn now. Cool. And this is very smooth. I like how the, the plane is kind of rocking left and right. It's almost reminding me of like the wing flex. Like if you have a look at it here, I should be turning. You can kind of see how it's rocking left and right. That's really cool. I don't know if the creator did that on purpose or if it's just something that's happening here in Stormworks, um, but I think it's really cool. Okay, so we're coming up to the runway here. We're going to start lining up more or less. Uh, we're going to get our brakes on too. Okay, so brakes are currently on at the moment, which is fine. Uh, we don't need to do anything else. We can get our taxi lights off because we're not taxiing anymore. Uh, let's get our RPS built up. So throttle up is one. Okay, we're going to build up. Okay, and then we'll take our brakes off uh, now. Perfect. Try and keep nice and leveled on the runway here. And we should be climbing any second now. Look at that. Beautiful takeoff. Gorgeous. Let's get our flaps up. So, or gears, sorry gears up and then we'll also do our flaps up so that will be just hold that down until it gets to about zero yep so that's perfect actually 
Cool, so that's all up and running now. So we can now tell the system that we are doing an alt hold. So we're going to be cruising up to that altitude. You can see the altitude just over here. Speed over here is 235 knots, if I'm correct, it's in knots. Um, so yeah, we're cruising up now to that height, which is perfect. We can throw our AP on also. And we're doing a bank. Look at the bank. Ooh, that is beautiful. That bank is nice. Look at that. Spot on. All right, so we're coming up to the waypoint here at the airbase, and you can see we're actually not too far away from it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is let's go and get our landing gear down. We're going to decrease our speed ever so slightly. I uh, don't want to drop too much. I don't want to obviously drop too much altitude. Uh, let's go and set our next altitude at about 200. Okay, so we're going to hopefully drop down. Hopefully not too much. I'm going to keep an eye on this uh, so we don't end up actually just dropping out of the air. And everything looks good. We're probably going to get our flaps also up and ready for to slow our styles. We can also use the air brake, which hopefully will be pretty cool. We're keeping an eye on this just in case we need to pull up quickly. You can see we're hitting our waypoints now. So the plane is going and doing its turning. So we're coming up to about 200, which is perfect. Great. Uh, let's set that down to about 150 now. Don't want to go too low. But also don't want to go too high at the same time. We're doing another bank. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to get some brakes on also while we're at it. Okay, so about 150 now for alts. Seems like we are still dropping in our altitude here. So I just want to keep an eye on it. We're good now. Perfect. Let's go and get our flaps up. Hopefully that will decrease our speed a bit. Not too much though. Don't want to drop too much speed. Cool. So you can see our altitude still sitting around 150. Um, perfect. We can probably decrease our speed a bit. And I also want to get our altitude hold off in a few seconds. So it seems like we're the, alt, the waypoint. Ah, oh, because we hit all of our waypoints. Okay, so we need to get the waypoint system off. It's got an alt hold set off. And then we'll come in for manual landing here in a few seconds. Cool. I'll try and keep the nose down. Okay, so you can see where we are. We're going to try and do a little bit of a turn here to the right, and we just need to do almost like a 360 turn. I'm just going to keep on doing a bank here, a little bit easier inside the cockpit to do this. So I'm just going to flip to the cockpit here, I'm going to bank to the right, keep on banking to the right here. All of the systems are off. The only system that we have on currently at the moment is the um, stabilization system. So that should help us obviously just keeping the nose and everything nice and leveled and rolled here so you can see we're going to come in here we're going to start decreasing our alt decreasing our speed at the same time so speed is two so that will be throttled down is two don't want to drop too much of my speed otherwise we end up crashing into the ground where is the runway currently okay you can see the runway just in the far distance there is perfect look at that okay brakes are definitely on which is perfect is that a that's not the, f is that the airfield or the fires? Those are fires. That's not the airfield. Airfields on my right, oh my word. I thought that was the airstrip, it's fires. There's a forest fire going down there. Looks like we're going to have to call in the, we're gonna have to call in the NJ service for that. Okay, we're a little bit off on the runway here. I kind of missed it with all this mist. So we're gonna try and do our best here. Let's get our throttle down a little bit more. A little bit up on throttle. A little bit down. The stabilization system is really helping us. Let's do throttle down again. Cool. Nose up. Throttle down. Let's go out. Nose up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Not the cleanest of landings, but it's not bad at all. Definitely a pass in my books. Uh, let's go and take our brakes off and let's actually just do a little bit of a taxi out here. And probably get our throttle down even more. Those brakes worked really well. I don't know if the creators maybe increased the grip on the on the wheels, but those brakes worked really, really well. Now I'm interested to see if our cargo is still somewhat good. I don't know if the cargo possibly have maybe shifted, which while we're dropping down there. I'm not too sure, but we are soon gonna find out. So it's gonna taxi about here a bit. You can see some AI planes flying above us. 
and that fire is really getting out of control we definitely need to call in the, the aerial water bombing service if you guys haven't checked that one out it's definitely going to do it it's really fun to call in these water drops cool and let's go and move along here we're going to come over to the hangar and then we will start unloading those tanks and hopefully they haven't shifted too much we're soon going to find out so let's carry on through a little bit doing a nice speed here for our taxi this plane has just been really good all the way along i love the stabilization system it's keeping kept the plane really nice and easy to land there um, you just have to get used to the speeds and what speed it actually stalls out and starts dropping out the air uh, but once you get a hang of it and also what throttle to be using uh, then I think it would be really a really spot on plane. I'd love to do some aerial refueling with this too. Okay cool let's go and get our throttle down and we're going to get our brakes on here in a few seconds too. I'm going to start doing that. Perfect. Cool so we're good now. Brakes are currently on. That is throttles down. Let's go and get our engines off. Let's get our fuel pumps off. Let's get all this off. Backlights off. Let's get all of this ready to go. We'll get the APU, APU fuel pumps and APUs on. That way we can run the APU in the background. Um, so we just don't obviously lose all our electricity. Cool, so vehicles actually look like they're pretty good. Let's go and open the bay door and let's go through to the back. Let's open this door here. And you can hear the APUs running, which is perfect. And uh, yeah, this actually looks like it's all still... Wow, that's really good. So we're going to have to start the nice long process of deconnecting all these ropes and things. Uh, we'll disconnect that, disconnect that. I'm actually going to disconnect, I think, all of them. Uh, let's see, I'm also dropping them on the floor. I think it's a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So I think that is most of them. I think I need to go to the other side and do the front ones here, yeah. There we go, there's one, there's two, there's one, and there's two here, one and two. Perfect, so that should be all the ropes. Let's jump inside the first tank at the back of the plane. Jump in, electrical brake off, engines on. Let's put it into reverse. There we go. Look at that. perfect stop it over there let's get the brakes on and jump off let's get the next one so we're gonna jump up here you can hear the apu is still running which is perfect uh, let's get engines on let's get electrical brakes off change gears down reverse do i have any ropes connected still i hope not no we don't perfect bring it in for reverse Stop it over there. Great. Engine off. Brakes on. And let's get the last tank. This one seems to have moved a little bit in transit. But it seems like it's fine. This one is still connected. So we're just going to disconnect that. And let's go and jump in that seat. So engine's on. It's off. Let's go gear down. Perfect. Very easy. Oh, no. I thought it was easy. Are we not in reverse? I feel like we're not in reverse. Gear down. Seems like we're getting stuck on that seat. So let's gear up a little bit, I think. There we go. Oh, it looks like there is some rope that is still connected. See the rope there? Okay, so let's just jump out and let's just get that rope disconnected. I must have missed that. Yes, there we go. Cool. Let's get that rope disconnected. That probably was stopping us from moving. The rope actually does a really good job. Gear down. And let's do reverse now. There we go. And we'll have to put those ropes away just now. But uh, look at that. Three tanks transported using this beautiful plane. Really was just a lovely experience. To get that turned off. And the three tanks are ready now. We've got a ton of rope all lying around here, which we do need to store and put away at some stage, I think. Because uh, if we're doing any more missions, we will need some rope, I think. So let's put some of this away. 
I don't know if there's actually any extra storage. No, but there's just a lot of rope everywhere, which is useful. Very useful to obviously have a lot of rope. Cool. Uh, we even got more there. What are we going to do with all of this rope? Oh, well. Uh, let's close the door. Let's get this um, plane off. We can get the APU off. So let's do APU fuel pump, APU off, main battery off, main battery off. And there we go. We can now um, turn the plane off and get the cargo door closed and go out the front. So guys, that is the mission. Absolutely awesome. This plane is fantastic. Those tanks are great to play with too. Uh, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you want to check out this plane or the tanks, uh, I do leave links in the video description so you guys can go play with it, do your own missions with it, and hopefully enjoy them. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, and if you don't want to miss any of my future content, hit that little bell icon. And until the next one, we will see you then.